So now let's dive deeper into functions. <clears throat> when we looked at a function before, you could define it by first writing function, right? And uh, my function, parentheses quickly, right? And I could alert something like hello, right? And by default, if we look at that, nothing happens, right? When we go to our inspect, nothing magical, right? If we wanted to just call a function in JavaScript, all we have to do is write my function, parentheses, semicolon, right? Because we're calling a function because of our parentheses, right? So now if we go to here, run, we get our alert, right? Because it calls that function, right? It calls that block of code, right? And what we learned in our comments, so I'm gonna comment that out, slash slash. What we learned is on on click, right? So if I wanted to take this button and just do on click equals my function parentheses. I can then go to my code and now when I click I get an alert, right? Well, <clears throat> if we look at functions more in depth, we could actually do two buttons, right? And we could label one button one and one button two. If we refresh, now I got button one, button two, right? Button one does that, and button two does that, obviously, right? It's the same function. So we're calling that same block of code, right? Well, I could do it where I could have my function one and my function two, right? Thus having to create two functions in the background, right? Now I'd have my function one, my function two, and I'd have hello two and hello one. That seems tedious, right? If I'm just doing the same thing in two different functions, right? So let's undo that, right? And then let's look at how we can make this better, right? I want to call the same function, but I want to know that this one's button one and this one's button two. Well, this is where we look at passing in variables to a function, right? Now a variable can be many things, right? Uh, it can be a, a simple string here. It could be an integer, it could be a boolean, an array. There's a multiple variables that we'll go over later. Right now we'll just focus on a string, right? I'm going to pass a string through this function and alert it, okay? So in order to do that, I first have to pass something, right? So I'll put our single quotes around or inside of my parentheses and call it button one. And then I'll put single quotes inside of my other function and call it button two, right? Save that. And if I go to my function here, the thing that I have to do is just add a variable here. So I'll just call it um, txt for, you know, the text. And now instead of writing alert, I'm going to write txt, right? So it should recognize this variable in my function and collect whatever I pass through and alert it. Let's go see if that happens. Refresh. Button one, button one, button two, button two. So we've learned now that we can call one function for multiple things and just pass in what we call a variable to that function to distinguish which one is which. So that's the first lesson on functions.